I'm Brent, you're watching Steam Culture. You know in the 1960s, a lot of things were going on. The Beatles, bad clothing, this guy was born. However, there was also a problem called pollution. See, smog was starting to be a really big deal, especially in California. So General Motors asked car manufacturers to come up with some creative ways to reduce emissions, to help reduce smog. And General Motors had a fantastic idea. They said, hey, how about we revisit steam? Now, the steam car had gone out of vogue about the 1920s, but it hadn't gone out of vogue for one guy, Bill Bessler. Bessler may be familiar to you because he's the guy that built and flew the steam airplane that we did the segment on a while back. Now, Bessler was still involved with steam because he bought the Doble steam company way back in the day and was always tinkering with steam, so that's why they went to him. So GM said, hey, we're going to give you a 1969, this guy's birth year, Chevelle, some money and some parameters, and off you go. And seven months later, he delivered the Chevelle SE-124. Okay, so here's what he did. He took that V8 engine and effectively saw the whole thing in half. And then he plumbed it to handle steam. And instead of an internal combustion engine, he now had a double acting compound reciprocating steam engine. So the steam engine is fed by the classic Doble steam generator, which is a series of coiled tubes that allow for very rapid steam generation. Also very safe in that if there was a hole in one of the tubes, which was totally rare, instead of causing an explosion, it would basically vent the steam. There'd be a little hiss, some steam loss, and uh, complete safe operation. Now, the car would do 65 miles an hour, got about 15 miles per gallon, which was pretty efficient in the 60s. In 30 seconds, they would have steam generated, and in two minutes, the car would be ready to go. And what does that mean? Nothing, because the car didn't take off. But it is a piece of steam history we wanted to share with you. So you can go out and Google the SE124 1969 Chevelle steam car, and you'll get all kinds of information on it. But don't you dare do that before you Google us. Go out and find us. We'll have content for you each and every week, because we like you. I'll see you next Friday. Thanks for joining us.